We found these keys in our parking lot. To claim, please bring the car they match. It's gonna be a little hard to bring the car anywhere if you've got my keys. Took a second. But I got there eventually. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. All right, so who is guilty of making a fool of themselves on social media? Hands up. Guilty as charged. Some people say I make a fool of myself every damn day on this channel. Guess what? Life's a little too short to not be making a fool of yourself. <laughs> also, just wanted to add that I finally joined TikTok. A lot of you have a problem with that, it seems. Uh, I didn't realize that making funny videos and posting them to a social media platform was very polarizing. Probably the most polarizing thing I've ever done. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you have TikTok, check out my account at Charlotte Dobre Official. I'll leave a link down below in the description for you. And if you don't have TikTok, don't worry. I'm still gonna post my content here. I've just, I'm bored and in lockdown and I wanna post some funny shit. <laughs> like, damn, damn, dude. Okay, fine. Uh, sorry to upset so many of you. I'm also making a fool of myself on there regularly. So, but for now, we're gonna look at some people who embarrass themselves on social media. And it may or may not have been an endearing example of embarrassing yourself. It might've actually been quite, quite embarrassing. Let's get to it. If you say gullible slowly, it sounds like oranges. Does it? Gullible. No, it doesn't. Gullible. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. All right, all right, settle down, kids. I fell for it. It's fine. I told you I make a fool of myself every day on this channel. This elevator is so stupid. It has a button for the floor that I'm already on. <laughs> yes, it does. That's for when you're not on that floor only applies if you're not on that floor. But it also applies for when you need to get back to that floor. You see? Why do you have a framed picture of your ceiling fan? <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Is that by Rembrandt? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I realize that is a mirror. <laughs> you're right. Good job. Good job. Mirrors aren't your friends. Oh. So like, in the photo, it looks like he's lifting a lot, but in the mirror, it shows what he's actually lifting. But you can tell that he's not lifting that much. <laughs> like, just look at him. He doesn't look like he's trying very hard, does he? If he was actually lifting that much, I don't care how strong you are, but you'd have this like, like this look of like constipation on your face, you know, just like a, know that kind of thing. This is just gonna be an entire video of Charlotte embarrassing herself on social media. Perfect. Love it. Need it. Bye, England. Hello, London. Hashtag train. Hashtag station. Hashtag happy. Hashtag excited. Hashtag England. Hashtag London. Hashtag purple. Hashtag let's go. <laughs> I did need to read out every single one of those hashtags. Just uh, putting that out there. But I think you're all smart enough to get that London is in England. Unless you're talking about London, Ontario. In which case she is not because she added a England hashtag. But then wouldn't she know that London is in England? Well then, I can't believe it's been 2015 years since Jesus discovered America. <laughs> I know, I know. 2,000 years. Oh uh, man, uh, well Jesus didn't discover America. That was Christopher Columbus. Um, and he did so, uh, in the 15th century, I believe. Yes, right? My memory is failing me. Anywho. Just in case there's any confusion about that. Jesus was born 20, 21 years ago. He didn't discover the new world 20, 21 years ago. Just letting you know. I've decided I'm going to college sickening up tomorrow. <laughs> Brittany down here is like, college. You spelled college wrong. You spelled signing wrong. 
You spelled tomorrow wrong. How about hitting up elementary first? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's not wrong. This is social media, so I just find that people just don't really care about editing their work. I think that's something that you learn at college, you know? Editing your work. And giving a sh There's so much crap on social media that, like, I don't think people really care too much. It's hard to judge her. But, uh, it certainly was not the right Facebook status to spell things wrong. Signin. I'm going to collage. Isn't that, like, the French word for college? Big Charlotte. Why the F are you and that other white chick wearing kimonos? You white people need to stop taking Japanese culture. Also, you two look horrible in the kimonos. It doesn't even match you. Number one, it's a yukata, not a kimono. Number two, here's my Japanese passport. <laughs> yeah, that's embarrassing. Three years ago today, we had an active shooter alert. Oh wow. If I told you I want to try with you, what would you say? I'm sorry, does me bringing up an active shooter alert give you those kind of feelings that you want to like bring up? Those things? Does that turn you on? An active shooter? Bit weird. Read the room. Okay? But also, yes. <laughs> That's a joke. God. Side note, can I please take you on a date? Pro tip, maybe don't comment on a post of my dead dog to ask me out. Uh, like, again, read the room, buddy. Come on now. That's the last thing I'm thinking of right now. God. Perhaps later. Perhaps later. Know this about me. I'm not what you are used to. I am a rare breed. You may think you want me, but can you handle the essence of what I really am? You may think you can handle me, but how deep into the abyss are you willing to go? You may think you want to be my opposer, but are you ready to die? Ask yourself, do you really know? Hashtag rare breed, hashtag alpha male, hashtag my father's son, hashtag you have no idea, hashtag wolf spirit, hashtag you don't know me. And then they added a lovely picture of a wolf. <coughs> Yikes! That's cute. He probably thinks he's being like super deep, you know? Yeah. I don't even think I need to tear this person down a peg. I think they did that all enough on their own. You know, tag anything with hashtag alpha male and you're... <laughs> no explanation needed. Alphas don't need to say that they're alphas. That's a beta move. I've had sledgehammers for arms since 2013. You just never see them because my t-shirts always cover them up. And I can throw them. And when they hit, they hit like a truck. <laughs> truck emoji. <laughs> yes, I see that. Impressive. So like, are you alpha or what? <laughs> this guy can throw hands, guys. Watch the <laughs> out. Hide your kids. Hide your whammons. He's gonna steal them. Size D, slightly used titties. <laughs> what? Good used set of titties for sale. Upgraded, so need gone. Low miles would just have to pay for installation. Asking 200 for both or 100 piece. Will sell separate, size D. You're, you're, you're selling your implants? Can you... That sounds really unethical. Like that's, I don't, who knows? Maybe someone will just want to like play with them. But I don't think that you could like take them and like put them in a new body, especially like, come on, they're so dirty. Like, ew. Oh yeah, I do think that when you get your, your boobies taken out after you don't like your implants anymore, I think they do give them to you. Or you, it's a choice, right? Like, I mean, they're yours. Never heard of someone selling them though. Who knows, maybe someone will just buy them as like a stress ball, you know? Like they don't got a, an immediate titty to squeeze, so they just have like a, an implant. <laughs> what am I saying? What the hell? What the hell, Charlotte? Serve in heaven or rain in hell? <laughs> rain in hell. Always. <laughs> Whoa, when you put it like that. Flu shots in space. Two of the biggest hoaxes of all time in one place. Space and vaccines. 
Gotta love their dedication to fooling the ignorant masses. I wonder if he's truly in space. But that's just how my mind works. You know, I'm just a critical thinker. I question everything. I don't know why I get the you don't F with me vibes from this image. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. What you got there? You got some guns? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I see you have guns. So you can protect me is what you're saying. Can't even protect yourself with that cigarette in your mouth! Frig! <laughs> Jesus. If I find out who stole my mom's bike, you got a world of hurt coming your way. Don't let me catch you, you low-life scum. I'm replacing her bike with your teeth. I'm super... Like, that's cool, man. That's cool, but... I mean, I don't feel very intimidated looking at this post. Especially considering your dog is very, very cute. And doesn't look like he could hurt a fly. I kind of want to pet your dog. That's the only thing I got from this post. I just really want to pet your dog. <laughs> Drinking monster energy at bedtime isn't the smartest idea. But I fear nothing, not even a bit of sleep loss. Okay. Is that like in front of a confederate flag? It's... Of course you drink monster. Sounds about right. Sorry if anybody drinks monster out there. Sorry. Doesn't it seem like that's something he would drink for sure, just based on what his room looks like? Don't F with my friends, family, or the people I love with all my heart, or I'll tear yours out. <laughs> just posting a photo of some knives. <laughs> that's gonna be a fucking yikes for me. Holy sh. Alright. Didn't need to, uh. Alright then. Cool. Is that like prompted by anything? Did, did something happen? Or are you just just posting your your knives? All right. Send nudes of yo delicious blank on my messenger. WTF, dude? Everyone can see this. So, <laughs> I'm heartless. I don't care about nothing. I'm a paid hitman. What do you expect? What you see is what you get. Boy, chill the f down. I agree. That's a lot. Good. You, uh, enjoy that. Hope you have fun. He's trying so hard to sound, like, tough. But that just honestly sounds a little creepy and desperate. Like, it's ten times more sad because it's public, you know? No one. Lebanese girls, OMG, how did you know I'm Lebanese? It's always the prettiest girls that aren't into guys. Uh... <laughs> I thought you were American. Uh, no. Uh, Lebanese does not mean lesbian. Lebanese, Lebanon is a country. If you are Lebanese, you are from that country. And something tells me if you go up to pretty girls and they say that they're, like, not into guys, I think that might be just something they're saying to you. <laughs> That's something that we say, uh, to get creepy guys to leave us alone. <laughs> Either that or we say that we have a boyfriend, but they don't always respect the fact that you don't have a boyfriend. They also don't always respect the fact that you could be gay. I'm just saying. I broke that tombstone and fell backwards immediately after this picture was taken. I don't... you shouldn't, like... That's kind of disrespectful, man. You shouldn't have sat on that gravestone in the first place, but just telling everybody that you destroyed someone's grave is like... Yikes! It could be considered vandalism. If this, the family of this person wanted to, I'm pretty sure they could press charges, so... So this was taped above the water fountains at my school. Okay. We go to the same school. I watched you put that piece of paper up there and take the picture. <laughs> you are blocked from following and viewing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's bad. That's bad. You should have your social media taken away from you. All right, guys. Those were some people who made fools of themselves on social media. Don't worry. You did it too. You're next. You're next.